What's going on folks? Welcome back to the channel. As promised, today I'll be showing you my product lineup for 2024 and talk about the rates of each of them. As a disclaimer, I am not affiliated with any of these companies, nor is this video sponsored by them. I'm simply just a homeowner purchasing these products at my own expense and giving them a try to see how it will enhance my lawn. I'll be giving my honest feedback throughout this season as it progresses. Okay, so now that's out of the way, let's talk about the first product in line. This season, I decided to go with Lebanon Turf Country Club Fertilizer. I purchased these from the Golf Course Lawn Store. Shout out to Ron Henry, who is the sole proprietor of the Golf Course Lawn Store and is an affiliate with the Lebanon Turf products. I've heard nothing but good things about this fertilizer, and I have used Humic Max 1608 last season and had very good results. So according to my soil test, I'm deficient in nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium. So I'll be applying these at a rate of one pound per thousand square foot. And then in just a few weeks, I'll be starting out with the 12024 and applying that at a one pound per thousand square foot with potassium. And I've applied Stress Blend 7020 by Yard Mastery twice last year and had some pretty good results. So I'm excited to apply this one to see some major benefits. Uh, one of the biggest things that attracted me to this fertilizer is the pro size being a SGN of 80. Um, really can't find products out there with this pro size. It's almost like sand. It's uh, mainly used for golf course putting greens, hence the reason uh, for a small pro size so that I can get into the canopy of these uh, short tight grasses. So um, I'll be applying this at a four pounds per thousand square foot in order to get the one pound of potassium into the soil, which is a good start and help develop stronger roots early in the season to take on the extreme uh, hot temperatures that we get out here in uh, Texas summers. So I'll be applying this with my monthly application of Carbon Pro G, both applied uh, with the Earthway 2050P spreader. And once we get closer to summer, I'll make the transition over to the 14714 and apply that at the 6.4 pounds per thousand square foot to get that 0.9 pounds of uh, nitrogen for the month. These products are pricey, but I believe it's mainly due to the small pro size as well as some of the other micronutrients you receive with this fertilizer. Um, with these products, you also receive sea kelp, humic acid, iron, manganese, magnesium, and these are just a few things you regularly don't receive with the general fertilizers from big box stores. So now let's move on to the liquids. Here I have Turplex 22.3, which I'll be applying at three ounces per thousand square foot. This gives me 0.05 pounds of nitrogen applied bi-monthly, give me a total dose of one pound of nitrogen per month. Along with this, I'll also be applying Nutrizol at three ounces per thousand square foot. Now I've heard you actually only need to be applying half the rate with Turplex, but given how deficient my lawn is with the micro, I've decided to apply this at the same rate of three ounces per thousand square foot. I've had some good results with Nutrizolve last year, so I look forward to continuing that with this season. And then next up is something that I'm most excited about, which is Tnex PGR. Last season was my first season getting into lawn care, and I felt like my lawn was not ready for plant growth regulator due to my yard having several bare spots and needing to be filled with grass. Uh, now that I'm somewhat past that stage, I believe it's time to get into PGR. Looking forward to less mowing frequency given this will slow down the vertical growth of the Bermuda and increase the lateral growth to help thicken up my lawn. Hopefully, I'll be able to lay some nice stripes this season with the thicker grass. I'll be applying Tnex at 0.75 ounces per thousand square foot, which is the rate for common Bermuda. I am almost certain that I have common Bermuda since my lawn was hydrated back in 2021 when the house was being built. From my understanding, hybrid Bermuda usually comes in sod form, so if anything is seeded, it's most likely common Bermuda. There's a chance that it could be hybrid seeded Bermuda, but that would be harder to determine. I think later this year, I'm going to try and research and to see what type of Bermuda I have. I feel like I do have some strands that look like hybrid while some are common, but I guess I'll be applying PGR at 0.75 ounces, to, and if I see tip burn, then it'll tell me that I may have hybrid. And I'll also be splitting this uh, application twice a month. So I'll be laying this at 0.375 ounces per thousand square foot as I lay my Turflex and Nutrizol. And I'll repeat that again the second half of the month. So all three of these um, products will be mixed together and applied with the Yard Mastery Backpack Sprayer. These do need to be absorbed through the leaves. So it must be applied with the T-Jet Foliar Spray Tip. 
And as for watering in the granular and fertilizer, you usually wait until the next day to water that in after you've given time for the liquids to be absorbed. But for this year, I've decided to, instead of just watering the products, why not just apply more biostimulants with it? So this year, I've decided to try out uh, RGS from NX, standing for Nitrogen Extension. Essentially, the goal of their product is to produce good soil health and stronger roots for your grass so they can optimize the fertilizer intake. Uh, this product is packed with sea kelp, humic acid, and the two products of that help reduce heat stress. So I'll be applying this at 6 ounces per thousand square foot a uh, day after I've applied the previous mentioned products. Along with this, I'll also apply humic 12, which is straight up humic acid. Last year, I did not have any humic acid in my lawn besides the one application with humic max 1608. Uh, this year, I'll be overdosing my lawn with humic acid from several products such as the Lebanon Turf products, RGS, as well as this uh, Humic 12 itself. I did apply Humic 12 last year from the Yard Mastery Winterizer Pack, and the lawn was looking great uh, throughout the winter up till now. Uh, my lawn has been the earliest to green up in the entire neighborhood, and I believe it's mainly due to the Winterizer Pack. So I'm a believer that this Humic 12 does play a vital role to the health of the turf. This will also be applied at six ounces per thousand square foot. So I'll be applying both products uh, with a hose end sprayer, uh, same one that I used last year for the winterizer pack. That bottle was able to hold 32 ounces, so 24 ounces of product to cover 2,000 square foot will be ideal. So I'll apply 12 ounces of RGS, 12 ounces of Humic 12, and then fill up the rest of the bottle with water, then spray and pray 2,000 square foot, then repeat until I get up to 6,000. Last is my Liquid Iron by Simple Lawn Solutions. I did not have much success with Feature last year, so I'm switching it up to this product to hopefully get some dark green grass. And as we get closer to summer, I'll be applying this alongside with RGS and Humic 12 as I water these products in to get the granular fertilizer into the soil. As I had mentioned in the past, I really want a dark green lawn, so I'm hoping out of all the iron products that I lay down with addition to this, I can achieve some really dark green grass. Well, that's it folks. I'll be laying these products down soon and sharing you my experience and results with them throughout the season. Stay tuned for future content for 2024. And as always, if you enjoy the channel, please consider liking and subscribing and turn on notifications to get updates when I release new videos. If you haven't seen my other videos, I recommend you take a look at my lawn transformation video of 2023 to see how far I've come along. Anyways, take care and happy mowing.